Oh my god! Check the moon, it's amazing, I just noticed it. How do we get the best looking videos at night when we are recording with the mobile phone? Today I'm recording with the S24 Ultra, but you can follow that tutorial with any Android phone, the things are mostly the same everywhere. You can follow it even if you use an iPhone, just download the Blackmagic application that will unlock the camera. Step 1, get a gimbal. Step 2, turn off the stabilization. At night, the S24 Ultra is producing worst results when the stabilization is turned on. You have two types of stabilization, the hardware one and the digital one. When you turn off the stabilization, you're turning off only the digital one and you're also removing the crop. So you get better image without a crop at night. During the day, the stabilization works really well, so don't forget to turn it back on. Extremely annoying problem with the S24 Ultra at night are the flickering lights. They flicker way more than with the iPhone. There is only one way how you can solve that issue. Jump to the Pro Video mode and play with the shutter speed. If you're in Europe, the best shutter speed for you is 1 50th of a second because the electricity is 50 Hz per second. If you're in the USA, the electricity is 60 Hz per second, then you have to switch to 1 60th of a second. Never use the Pro Video mode with the Samsung, it produces terrible results. I just went through the footage and compare it side by side. The normal video mode produces cleaner videos and has way better dynamic range. It shouldn't be like this, the Pro Video mode should be superior, but at the current moment that is the situation, stay away from the Pro Video mode at night. Next we have to reduce the frame rates, the best frame rates at night are 25 or 30 frames per second, they'll produce the cleanest image. If you're recording in the high frame rates like 60 or 120 fps, that will produce garbage results, stick to 30 frames per second. Next we go to settings, go to advanced video options and make sure that the high bitrate videos are turned on. That will give us more information and it will be easier to edit those videos. Next we activate the HDR mode. When the phone records in HDR, it records 10-bit files that have more color information and more dynamic range. At night the lights are very bright and they're creating a very bright spot around them and everything around is very dark. So if you want a better dynamic range with more details in our picture, it's better to record in 10 bit. The ultra wide and the telephoto lens are performing terribly at night, but there is one trick how you can get really epic and cinematic footage without any noise with them. Instead of exposing for the shadows and making the exposure balanced, expose for the highlights that will give you extremely high quality image even at night the street light here looks amazing so switching to the telephoto lens and locking the exposure on the light check how beautiful the sign looks now when you work with the ultra wide angle lens the phone is trying to expose for everything but that's the mistake. Let's expose for the lights. We can even darken it a little bit. Oh my god. Check the moon, it's amazing, I just noticed it. The One X lens is the only lens on the phone that comes closer to the camera quality at night. Unfortunately, sometimes it's very tight and you want to record a little bit wider. I have one trick for you that will convert that lens into ultra wide angle lens. I'm going to use the Freewell 18mm ultra wide angle lens. It's a very heavy setup and very few gimbals on the market would handle it. We just balance the hoham and it's a monster. The motors are so strong. It's the strongest mobile gimbal on the market. Check how responsive it is. Let's film with that monster. How to get the perfect exposure of your subject and at the same time get the perfect exposure of the street lights. I have three tricks for you that I use all the time. The first one, find a very bright window or street light and stand just in front of it. In that way the subject is getting the perfect light and even if the background is a little bit noisy, it looks amazingly beautiful. 
The second option is to use the light that comes with the gimbal, blast it on 100% and here is extremely important to adjust the temperature, I would recommend you to film between 2700 kelvins to around 3200 kelvins, in that way the skin of the subject will look nice and warm. The billboard is creating really interesting light pattern, just check what is happening with my face. And when we use the light in front, it's like... And the third way is my favorite, is to use a small LED light. Here most people will make the mistake to blast the light at 100%, but in that way the background is not visible. The trick is first to expose for the background, and then slowly turn up the light, until you see that the subject is getting overexposed, and then dial it down a tad. At the moment I'm at 5% power, of course the further away is the subject the stronger should be the light, but I rarely go more than 15% of power at night. When I film with models at night I always hold the light in my left hand and the gimbal in my right hand, the reason is the distance. When I close the distance between me and the model, the light is getting very bright and it's getting very overexposed. To control how much light falls on the model, I control the direction of the light. When I'm far away I want all the light to fall on the model, but when I close the distance, I'll just rotate the light left or right and in that way I control how much light falls on the model face. When I film interviews I have the light directly mounted to the gimbal with a magic arm. It's very inexpensive, on Amazon you can find it for around 15 to 20 dollars and you can use it as a second handle. In that way I can hold the gimbal for hours without being tired. Holding it in the middle with two hands it's quite tiring. And second, very fast I can dial the light up and down. If you enjoyed the episode, definitely check out this video, it has a lot of tips and tricks that will be very helpful. See you in the next one, bye!